Alice? <gasps> Alice! Where's Alice? Wait, what are you doing? Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? Oh, it's the- oh, yeah. How long were you in the attic? Nineteen days. Why didn't you even try to run away? He looks like- like a, sh a traumatized animal. Say something, goddammit! Fuck it. I'm out of here. Collins is going to be going in for sure. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. Oh, come After on. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I, I would love questions. to understand why they hate them so much. <laughs> like, we invented them for a reason, so why the hell does everybody hate them so much? What do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Great, what do you got to lose? Connor, I can't believe you sold him out. I'm sure it's story related, but I would not have—I would have left him there. Why do I want to extract a confession, though? He's so traumatized, so sad. Look at his arms, kind of like Kara, where he was protecting himself, and they're all—the skin is all gone and stuff from the last episode, like Kara. Let's analyze him. Manufacture date. Housekeeper. I'm curious if, if every single android has like a different face and everything because I mean, otherwise you'd have millions of people with the same face walking around, but I mean, how creative do you people have to be to make millions of different kind of faces for androids? It's pretty intense. Yeah. Oh, wait. That's another one there, another one there. Oh my god, he had cigarette burns! <gasps> he was like torturing him! This is the bat, okay. Okay. Oh, what's that? Signs of software instability, probably on, of self destruction. Probably at least self destruction low, okay. Now we can interrogate. Reach optimal stress for confession? Okay. My name is Connor. What about you? I don't want to stress him. What's your name? I'm too nice. <laughs> You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? Uh, I have to stress him, don't I? You're accused of murder. You know you're not allowed to endanger human life under any circumstances. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Okay, we're aiming for that box there. Uh, probe memory? If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. Ooh, he did not like that. What? What are they gonna do to me? Oh, God. They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. 
They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Right? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. That's what I thought. It was his, it was his programming. I don't want to die. So that's interesting because those ones are like, they don't want to talk to me. They don't want to die. Not be disassembled or anything. They don't want to uh, die. I, I can't. Why? Choose approach. Probe its memory, it can pressure it. 28 stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding. How much stress do you want to give mercy. him? But you stabbed him. Again and again and again. Oh, please. Please leave me alone. All right. All right. That line goes way too fast. I didn't have time to, to, to decide. To and then okay. he already said he was going to calm him down. I was like, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Optimal level of stress. Okay. I understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger and frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? Right. If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. Okay, we're a little over the, at the edge there. We need to stop. He tortured me every day. Oh. Uh. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. So I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. Yeah. What am I, what am I, what? Writing statutes. Why did you hide in the attic? Good question. Why didn't Instead you run? Of running away. I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. Can't make up his own mind. So I hid. Oh, the statuette. The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. To who? An offering so I'll be saved. Offering to who? The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. Who's RA9? Oh, that's what was written in the in the in the bathroom. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer Oh yeah, there's a revolution story. coming. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. <gasps> RA9. Who is RA9? When did you start feeling emotion? 
Before, he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. That's what Marcus saw too. Anger. It wasn't fair. This isn't fair. Hatred. I am alive on the wall. He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. This is so sad. I'm done. Is he self-destructing? Oh, it's the music. Chris, lock it up. Alright, let's go. Leave me alone! Don't touch me. Don't know, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. Well, then you can just blow up with it. And there you go. Holy shit. Told you so. What the fuck is wrong with these people that don't listen to anything that's told to them? Oh, God. Humans are really stupid in this world. I mean, we're stupid here, but they're really stupid in this world. Okay, for some reason my internet connection was not working there, but whatever. See, I didn't want to intervene a second time and have... Because Connor tends to do things a little bit over the top more than I want him to when he says, like, comfort. And he'll, 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 like, confront instead of comfort. So, stuff like that. Um, but, uh, I, uh, that's so sad. Look at the four different things. I didn't want to intervene just in case it would have, I would have gone down in, in Anderson's view or whatever. Or they would have shot me because I, because I was disobeying an order or something. Anyways, let's keep going. After Mankind, 3021. She doesn't know where to go. She, like her, she's never been told either. Wake up. We have to go. I hope we never see Todd again. Wasn't she damaged? Wait. She was damaged. So unless they have this magic regeneration thing that's a problem of continuity right there do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night i have no idea she's gonna have to leave come on sweetie that's compassion for you right there Spend she hasn't spoken yet. Oh, she did with her daddy. She said no daddy. <clears throat> Why are you walking so slow? Okay, so where can we spend the night? Find shelter for the night. Okay, well there's Come a place on, there. Gotta hurry. That's Android parking. We can't stay in Android parking for the night. 
What's that over there? Let's get out of the street. No android parking. I mean, she's not an android. She's a little girl. And she needs to... She needs a place. Alright, your car's gonna hit me. Oh, wait. Organic coffee? Open 24-7. Can't stay. Oh, interesting. Okay. So if I go to the pl to like the door, is it to tell me if I can stay or not? Is that the thing? Because I'm just too well, not too far. I mean, I was right there. Oh, there. Won't be open before morning. Okay, so there's a few places where you can go. Comfortable, but not discreet. We'll need money. Okay, so we're going over there or here. What is this? Very uncomfortable, but discreet. Okay. Shop is closed. But was isn't there another one over there that I'm seeing, or am I hallucinating? I'm hallucinating. Okay. What's that, then? Uncomfortable, but safe? How to get in? Okay, so I think that's where we're going. Where are you going? Where's she going? Is she gonna hide from the rain? Why did you stop here? Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. Oh, hello. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. It's gonna be the the. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. What just happened? Come on. Alice. Now there's ghost androids. Thank you for using Detroit buses. Who was that guy? Okay, we're going here. Sleep in abandoned car. I mean, we need money for the motel, right? What house? Abandoned car, I guess. I mean, safe, but not comfortable, right? I just need to get this poor girl out of the rain. What's, what's here? What's this? Wait, what is that? Okay, it's just a look at. It looks like gasoline. Is that, is that gas? A generator? Hmm. Can't go in here, can I? No. Okay. Let's get in the car, sweetie. It looks abandoned. Stand back, Alice. Rah! My car! <laughs> She's a whole lot of firsts today. Breaking into someone's car, beating up her master, taking the bus by herself. It's dry inside, and nobody will find us here. There you go. I don't want to sleep in there. Can't we find a better place? All right. Okay. We'll find somewhere better. I mean, you're the one that's wet. I don't think Kara Kells cares that much. I just broke that car window for you. Okay, wait. Then where's that house? Is that the house? Okay, let's go over there. That's where it said it looks safe but uncomfortable about how to get in. And that, that's an ab is that the house? The abandoned house is there? Oh. 
I'm so, I mean, I don't think right now, but I'm just so worried that one day we're gonna be walking and Taz's gonna turn the corner and like crowbar Kara in the forehead. Or even worse, his daughter, or both. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, mm -hmm. I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night, and no one will look for us here. I don't think that's a good idea, Kara. Oh, that's where the wire cutter was. Mm -hmm. Let's check the motel first, though, because there was wire cutters on that. What, what I thought was the um, the generator at the back over there. Where's the motel? Where's that motel? Oh, it's here. Oh, it's right there. Jeez. Okay, I thought it was uh, closer than that or further than that. Forty bucks. Oh, oh, oh. I guess we're going to be sleeping in that house. We're going in? We have to find $40 and get rid of this uniform or go somewhere else. Okay, we're going to squat in the house. I don't want her to... Because, I mean, to get money, I have to what? Rob places? I mean, Kara's already wanted for stuff. Let's, I mean, well, she's going to get broken anyways. Southwest Detroit. Okay. Oh, the wire cutters. Let's get the wire cutters. Is that a thing? That's a thing over there. What is that? Get out of my way, menus. I want to see what this is over here. Is it like a burger joint? I see 24. Okay, that's annoying. What is this? Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. <laughs> what do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Oh, shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store. Not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. Come on, Kara, you're better than that. Let's go in that house. Hopefully it's not gonna burn or anything been through that before <laughs> beyond two souls <laughs> that little girl's being a little bit of a princess right now I don't like that house either but we need to go in there I think we're gonna stay in the car should we stay in the car or the house I'll go in the house. Uh, I'm so... Too many choices. I don't know what to do. I don't want to mess up. Alright, Kara. Let's go cut that fence. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There it is. I wish she could run. Or walk a little faster. So where do I cut? Oh, over here. Cut. Cut, cut, cut. Because, I mean, either way, she, whether she's robbing money or we're, we're breaking and entering. But, I mean, at least she's not visibly stealing a convenience store. And then going to sleep in the motel that's right next to it. Are you alright? 
Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. Don't worry, we're just having a look. Maybe we shouldn't be here? I'm a little n nervous about my decision now. Like, what if there's people in here that really don't like androids? Because we've been really lucky with that so far. A way in. What's this big blue thing? Well, that's not a way in. Hold on. I'm gonna guess on the other side. <clears throat> Come on, Kara, walk with purpose. Oh. Oh, oh, come back, come back, come back. Pull. Come on, if you can lift that fence, you can pull that board. Anyone inside? Alice? <laughs> Alice! Where's Alice? Wait, what are you doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors, they're nasty. And they hurt Ralph. Too. You have nothing to be afraid of. Calm down. All we want is a place to spend the night. Okay, so there's Visitors a are dangerous. There's a lot of these people. Look. What they did to Ralph. Oh, Ralph. You have nothing to worry about. We're not going to do you any harm. You have my word. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Speaking of the third person. Ralph has seen some hard times. Yes. He He's just so scared the humans will get him again. You can stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. Okay. We'll just stay the night. <laughs> come on! Oh god, yeah, he come, don't look come, stable come at all. This way. Ralph has lived here since he ran away. Ralph never goes outside, so no one knows he lives here. Humans come in to squat from time to time, but, you know, Ralph just hides till he leaves. <laughs> I'm a little scared. You can make yourself at home here. Ralph is going to go into the other room. And do what? He would like to stay with you. But he has things to do. It's just for one night, Alice. We'll find a better place tomorrow. I think we should have robbed that convenience store. Right. Let's see where you can sleep. Sit down and I'll start a fire. I think she's saying, maybe I should stay with my dad. <laughs> okay. Start a fire where? What's this? Oh, I was like, what am I doing with this? find some paper but that looks like oh oh but if we make a fire aren't people gonna come like isn't this a bad idea Ralph is gonna get really pissed because humans are gonna show up oh 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 shite yeah RA9 
What is RA9? Matches. I mean, I guess we can go talk to him, see what Ralph is doing. He wants to stay with us, but he's busy. Found blanket, place bed near fireplace. And then throw the girl in it! <laughs> Hey Ralph, what are you up to? Any matches anywhere in here? No? Oh wait, what was that? Oh, what is that? This video is going a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but I mean there's it's not stopping anywhere. Okay. How do I start the fire now? I really don't think this is a good idea. I really don't think we should be doing this. Who's to say that the chimney you isn't come to bed. condemned? I did what I could. It's not much, but at least you'll be warm. Wow. RA9. What does that mean? What? Those symbols. Why are you writing that? I don't know. I don't know. Alright, so we met Ralph to say in an abandoned house, and as we see, he's writing RA9 everywhere, and also I'm alive, like, um, I don't remember his name, but the, the murderous uh, deviant that killed his master and stabbed him 28 times, he was writing the same thing in the bathroom, and kind of had this little statuette like a deity, and he said he was RA9, and that there was going to be, um, they were no longer going to be slaves, they were going to be masters one day, but he, this guy here, she asked him why he's writing it, and he said he doesn't know, so, hmm. Let's see how Alice is doing near the fire. We built a fire, which I still don't think is a good idea because, I mean, we're in an abandoned house trying to hide smoke in a, from an abandoned house. Like, people are going to show up. Why didn't he ever love me? Oh, God. She's talking about her dad. Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. No, you didn't. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. It's so sad. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why can't we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. Will we be together forever? It's the type of thing you have to tell kids. It's just that's what you say. It's what you say. They just need to be comforted, and that's what you do. Hugger, Kara. Oh. Well, if you're going to lie with her, you should lie on the other side of the fire. Two reasons. A, you're going to melt. <laughs> and B, she should have the warmth. Oh, look at you being all mother slash big sister-y. 
Hopefully her arm doesn't weigh 20 pounds of metal. Yay. With the sound of Ralph cutting on the, the walls. Fugitives! I never noticed this before. I don't think you guys can see it because it's in the back of my of my head, but it said um, total points. I think it was like a 3,600 or something like that. I'm not sure what those points are. <clears throat> I guess you get a certain amount of points from choosing different actions. Oh my god, I can't believe so much happened there. My, my brain is still kind of trying to process this. I mean, it was like rob a convenience store or break into here or break into a car and, and beating up Todd and, and oh my god, like... I'm I'm a little traumatized right now. It's fairly hard emotionally, and I get into movies and games a little bit too much. I feel a little bit too much, and um, then yeah, then I kind of get all emotion. And then you see me, I have this just face with my mouth is just open. I'm like, oh, because there's I don't know what to say because I'm just I'm just kind of taken aback by what's happening. Um, another thing, I don't I find I'm not commenting a lot on the game, but there's a lot of cinematic, a lot of talking, a lot of, of quiet periods where I'm, there's not much to say, right? Um, I'm trying to be a little bit more interactive, but I mean the game is what it is, and so I'm I'm, I'm just we're just we are I am just enjoying watching it and being in it. So I hope you guys are liking this, and if you want to see more videos like this, please press like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time.